Hi, it's Aunt Fanny. So got up this morning and used up the rest of my coffee creamer that I made last week. So I'm going to make some new stuff. And I did some research on the internet and I think I kind of have the recipe figured out for different variations. Make sure you stay to the end of the video and I'm going to show you how to make these coffee creamers in any flavor you'd like. You can make it in caramel macchiato, chocolate toffee, vanilla hazelnut, you name it. I'm going to give you the basic recipe. Gonna, I just rinsed this out, washed it out. I'm still going to use the recycled um, jug. So I'm going to use a filter because it's a small little mouth and this is really thick. So we're going to add one can of sweetened condensed milk, which is just sugar and milk. Okay, so this time we're going to do hazelnut. So I have classic hazelnut syrup. Basically, if you're going to use a syrup, you're going to measure out two to four tablespoons for flavoring per container that you're making. But if you're using an extract, you're gonna measure one to two teaspoons of extract for flavoring. And it's kind of to your taste of how much flavor you want. And, and then you're gonna put one can of sweetened condensed milk in there, and then you're gonna add your flavoring, whatever that may be, and then fill the rest of it with half and half milk, coconut milk, almond milk, whatever um, your choice is. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make a hazelnut with a touch of vanilla in it for the sweetness. Okay, so we're going to add two tablespoons of hazelnut syrup to start with. And then I'm going to add just one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to fill the rest of this jug with half and half, leaving just a smidge at the top in case I want to add more flavoring. Here we go. So now I'm going to put the lid on here. We're going to shake it up. I have already made my coffee today because I used it to um, finish off this jug. I'm going to have my husband try this hazelnut. So it takes quite a bit to get all of that sweetened condensed milk because it's so thick to get totally mixed in. If you use a mason jar, they say to use a whisk and the whisk will integrate it a lot better and keep it mixed in uh, each time. But like I said in the last little video, I'm cheap. I'm just reusing this old jug. If I had a quart mason jar sitting around, I would use it though, and then whisk it. I think that's pretty well mixed. So I'm gonna try it. That tastes so good. I don't think I need any more. So I did two tablespoons of this and one teaspoon of the extract. This tastes so good. Okay, dad, bring me your coffee. Okay, so we're gonna add a little flavor in here. That's about a lot of flavor for you. It's more of a black coffee drinker. Okay, he doesn't want to be on camera because he doesn't have his makeup on. Just kidding. All right, Dad. Tastes good. Okay, so there you have it. Four ingredients, and that's it. And if Hi, it's Aunt Fanny, and I think I hacked the hack on the DIY coffee creamer. I think I know how to tell you to make your own coffee creamer in just about any flavor really easy, okay? So there's just a couple little rules that we got to kind of stick by, but they're not very hard and fast. First one is, we're gonna call this the base, okay? We're gonna use a base, which is 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk, or I don't know, do they have a sweetened condensed coconut milk? Whatever it is that's nice and thick and creamy, right? And then we're gonna have a filler, and that filler is gonna be either half and half, regular milk, whole milk, coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk, whatever it is, okay? And then we need some flavor. And in that flavor, we have a choice of syrups or extracts, all right? So here's the thing. If you're gonna use an extract to flavor, you're gonna be working in teaspoons. So use one to two teaspoons to flavor your coffee creamer with an extract. So start with one teaspoon into your base and your filler and see what you think. If you need more, add a little more, but you can't take it away. If you're working with a syrup, you're gonna be working with tablespoons. Use two to four tablespoons of this stuff to get your flavor the way you want it. So starting again with one or two tablespoons and try it and see if it's the right strength because you can't take it away. Okay, the fourth item is optional, but you can make some really creative stuff. It's gonna be a powder, something like espresso powder or cocoa powder. And you're gonna be working in teaspoons again, probably just one teaspoon in each one of those things. The extra step you have to do if you use a powder is you need to put all of your ingredients, your base, your filler, your flavor, and your powder all into a uh, saucepan, put it on the stove, and warm it up 
get it nice and steamy. Don't boil it, but get it nice and steamy. Let it cool down after you've mixed it and really completely integrated all those ingredients and that powder has completely dissolved. Get it all nice and cool before you put it into your container. So what are some examples? If you use the powder, the espresso powder, one thing you can make is caramel macchiato. You can use a caramel syrup, some espresso powder, get it nice and steamed, get it all integrated, whipped together, and then cooled off, put it in your thing. Another thing would be like a chocolate toffee. You're gonna use some cocoa powder and some toffee syrup, okay? And that's gonna make you a chocolate toffee creamer. So that's basically the rules. Use your base, use your half and half. The half and half is basically just filling up all the rest of the room in your container, um, which is usually maybe about two cups or more. And then your flavor, either syrup is in tablespoons, extract is in teaspoons, powder is usually about one teaspoon. So whatever you end up making, make it great. Enjoy this, experiment with it and make it exactly the way you like it.